It's all his fault. <laughs> and if you are smart, you will tell your lawyers to sue me for the prorated uh, amount of your tuition. Uh, let's go I to hope your seven minutes of his wisdom. At the end of the talk, you will be great. Uh, down <laughs> here. Right now, is the must wear sunglasses everywhere. <laughs> but I'll make an exception. Sue, yeah. Yeah, we, we already started nine. Nine minutes ago, we've been, we've been broadcasting well, live for nine minutes they here. You should have already introduced me. Well, I'm <laughs> thinking of it. Oh, okay. You got a Mac OS 9.1. Well, I'll, I'll wait till it actually starts. There. Well, I can I can act. Well, I don't just have one can you tell jokes uh, until, uh, until it warms up? I can, okay. I can do an introduction. Okay, well, okay. <clears throat> okay, well, let us start now. Okay, um, welcome to the uh, Computer Security Seminar from um, Purdue University. We're a little bit late today. Uh, and it is all Victor's fault that we're late. Um, today's speaker is uh, Professor. Uh, 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 no, not Professor. Not Professor. Not Professor. Right. I'm, I'm, I work for a living. Abe Singer. <laughs> okay. Today's speaker is Abe Singer, and he will talk about towards mining syslog uh, 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 data. data. Okay. Hey. Okay. So I am, where I'm coming from, as I find my presentation here, the way my display came up, uh, I actually can't uh, see it over here. So, Isn't it on uh, there? Oh. No, it's not mirroring at the moment. And maybe after a second, I'll get mirroring working. But let me just try and get it on the screen first. It should be under... Purdue Thank you. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I also went to school, public school in California, which means I can't spell. Okay. Whoops. That should have brought up the show. Hello. Oh, now I've got a more interesting problem. I wonder if that has to do with my video display. Let me see if I can fix that. So um, I work at the San Diego Supercomputer <laughs> Center in the uh, Security Technologies Group. And um, we're responsible for operational security for the center. And one of the things they let me do is um, do research that can that can benefit our operational security. Okay, now I have the same thing on both displays. And they're both wrong. <laughs> uh, they're they're heading towards both wrong. That's the most interesting problem I've had in a while. Yeah, but it's not actually. It doesn't want to quit either. Okay, I'm going to have to apply the Microsoft solution to this. Yeah. Okay. But I actually, most of my talk is talk and not slides, so I can actually talk about this. So I'm a security practitioner. I get to do research. Um, and so in, um, in the process of trying to uh, manage our systems and do intrusion detection, one of the things I spend a lot of time doing is trying to get useful information out of our system logs, especially intrusion detection related information and things like that. What I want to be able to do is do data mining of syslog data. 
Um, I think there's a lot of valuable information in syslog data, and data mining can tell me things, uh, help me find things in my system logs that I don't know about. Um, we've been archiving our syslog data for the last um, eight years. So I have about a half a terabyte of syslog data that I can analyze and maybe learn some interesting things, find some patterns and trends and things like that. And like I so said, what I'm really interested in is finding things that I wouldn't know to go looking for. Um, and so on, and things that would be useful for intrusion detection, useful for forensics, maybe even just useful for system management. Um, I'd like to even be able to, there's some simple questions I'd like to be able to answer. What are the 10 most frequent messages I see in my system logs? Even more interesting is what are the 10 least frequent messages in my logs? We collect several million lines a day of log messages. There's no way I'm going to find those by reading them um, unless I don't get any sleep whatsoever. Um, so that sounds pretty simple to do, but it's actually really hard uh, when you start looking at syslog data. Um, and I will actually have examples if this comes up. Um, Syslog is a basic logging mechanism for those of you, how many people don't know what syslog is? Okay, then I'll, ta I'll talk really fast about this. So it's a basic logging mechanism used. Um, it's basically the only thing that applications use to log unless they write to their own log files. Um, there are other logs such as uh, process accounting and so on, and WTAMP, things like that. Um, but those only contain stuff from the kernel. And those are relatively easy to work with. Um, the syslog protocol itself provides for, um, hopefully I get my document up here, provides uh, for transport of log information, but doesn't actually provide for any formatting um, of log information. So there's tons of useful security related information. I already get um, a lot of good information, direct information like things like um, authentication failures and so on. Aha! Okay. So maybe I can actually do something interesting here. Um, and, and so on. Authentication failures, uh, connections to services, refused connections, things that indicate probes. Uh, but there's also a lot of indirect data. Um, side effects of a compromised, um, such as um, unusual privileged activity or things we wouldn't expect to be seeing in the logs. Things that by themselves don't say there's an intrusion, but combined with some other events usually indicate that or combined with some um, outside knowledge. Um, that sort of thing. Also looking at things like resource utilization, having uh, thresholds for, um, for normal activity so we can see abnormal activity uh, would be useful. And correlation of events against outside events. Um, um, I've, I've learned that no presentation is considered academic unless you have at least one chart in it. So this is my one chart. Um, this is um, a simple thing I did uh, several years ago. Um, this is just a histogram of probes over time, over a period of a, a couple of weeks um, that we saw refused connections to services that we weren't running. Um, this by itself doesn't say anything uh, super interesting. Um, unless you know that um, this is the time that Kevin Mitnick was let out of jail. Um, for those of you who don't know who Kevin Mitnick was, he was the, supposedly the FBI's most wanted uh, computer hacker. He was um, arrested in part uh, due to intrusions that he did at the Supercomputer Center, even though he was actually arrested for other activity, <coughs> what he was guilty of was other activity. Um, Kevin Mitnick was due to be let out of jail. Shortly before then, he did an interview with 60 Minutes uh, that aired here, aired on that day. This is the day he was let out of jail. Okay. I would be interested in taking our logs, putting in a whole bunch of dates of events that we think are interesting, and having something tell us here are the, here are the uh, things that, that were um, abnormal on those days or that were different on those days, but that sort of thing. It was uh, let out with uh, an injunction not to touch the computer for several oh, years. Yes, I'm not saying this is due to Kevin. This is due to lots of, of Kevin uh, fans or wannabe hackers. That